by the end of this video, you're going to know three formulas, but more importantly, you're going to know where those three formulas come from. So when it comes to a triangle like this, sine theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now that makes no sense right now, but it will in a minute, I hope. To explain this, I'm going to use this little triangle that I've built. Now it's pretty special because I can make it much bigger or smaller, turn it around if I want to, and I can also change the angle of it from big to small. Now you can see it's measuring the angle for me and it's measuring the length of all of these sides as well. All right, so let's make it like a decentish size and the angle is 32.21, approximately. And you can see that these side lengths are 3.73. This is the adjacent side because it's next to the angle of interest. This is the hypotenuse, which is 4.41. And this is the opposite side, which is 2.35. Now, we're going to focus on our first trigonometric ratio here. Let's take a look. So I have this neat little formula here. Opposite divided by hypotenuse. So this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse. And 2.35 divided by 4.41 is equal to 0 0.53. Now, what happens if I make this triangle larger, but keep this angle the same? Watch this. Okay, that's a bigger triangle with different lengths for the opposite and the hypotenuse, longer lengths. But when we do 3.56 divided by 6.67, we still have that same value, 0 0.53. Now you can see that it doesn't matter how small I make this triangle or how large I make this triangle, as long as this angle stays the same, the ratio between this side and this side will be the same. We call that the sine ratio. So the formula that we're interested in is this one, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now, what is this magical sign thing? Well, if you look on your calculator, it's a button. You can press sign. So you can press sign 32.21. And if you press sign 32.21, it will give you an answer of 0 0.53. But that still doesn't really explain what sign is. Sign is actually a table of values. Um, what we're doing is taking all of the triangles that exist, all of the right angle triangles that exist, from very, very small ones to very, very large ones, and we've calculated all of those ratios. And so we now know that if you have a triangle with an angle of 62.15, the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse will be equal to 0 0.88. If you were to choose a different angle, the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse is equal to 0 0.73. We have these values for every single sized angle that you can think of. And we actually have two more ratios, because this is a ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse, but we can also have a ratio between the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and a ratio between the opposite and the adjacent. Here's a second formula, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And again, you can see it doesn't matter how I change my triangle. We can always expect for that ratio to be the same as long as that angle is the same. Of course, if I change that angle, those ratios change. But cos theta is a ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Finally, we have our last ratio, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite's 2.02, .02, adjacent is 3.48, and there is our value, 0 0.58. And you can see that it doesn't matter how large I make my triangle, as long as the angle stays the same, the ratio stays the same as well. So I have these great formulas here, and they relate the ratio of these sides to this angle in a very particular way. That is useful. Why is it useful? Well, I've got these three formulas now. Sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Let's focus on this one for a second. If I know theta and hypotenuse, I can find the opposite. If I know the angle and the hypotenuse, I can find the length of this side. If I know opposite and hypotenuse, I can find the size of the angle. 
As long as I know two of the things in that formula, I can find the third thing. As long as I know two of the things in this formula, I can find the third thing. And as long as I know two of the things in this formula, I can find the third thing. In fact, using these, as long as I know two bits of information about this triangle, the length of one of the sides and the angle, or the length of two of the sides, I can find all of the other stuff. And that's why these trigonometric ratios are so useful. So useful that people that haven't used them for years probably still remember how to remember them. Two different ways to do it. A very funny word, Sokatoa. I write it like this so I can remember that there are fractions. Sokatoa. Or the other one that people use is something like some old hens cackle and howl till old age. This is called a mnemonic. It's a device for remembering something. And there are hundreds of these Sokatoa or trigonometric ratio mnemonics out there. You can Google it, you can find your favourite. Uh, it's important that you remember these three formulas because we use them a lot. That's what a trig ratio is.